The last report I got from Ashni saying they've been dealing with this from our embassy there is that the it's being prepared at the technical level. They came, they did the environmental assessment on their own. So that was a good thing that they came because of the attempt by these local people linking up with foreign NGOs to try to block it. So there was an independent assessment of the entire project, including the environmental um, issues. And so I think as soon as that report is ready, then it will go to the to the board. I don't know exactly when, but I I believe we may maybe a month or two. I don't. I have to find out from Ashni. I didn't follow up on that. But right now, we the project is moving forward, and we're we're paying for it. We're paying we're paying for it from our resources. So it's moving forward. So we're not desperate. To we are at a point where. We have to stop this project because the loan is not coming through. And we have a number of alternatives too. That we, I explained this in the past, that we are, we're not a party or a government that don't deal with, that don't have contingencies. So this project will be built the gas to energy project will be completed. It will deliver 300 megawatts of power. It would preserve, produce stable, cheaper electricity to the people of this country. And also from that project, we'll start becoming a net exporter, an exporter of cooking gas from an importer now. And we will be able to pay back for this project even from the proceeds of the sale of the liquids.